Hello everyone, I invite you down to New Orleans to have a look at my figurine from the Disney and Nesco Couture de Force line. And what I have before me is Princess Tiana from the movie The Princess and the Frog. And this particular line of figurines is an elevated take on the Disney character's classic looks through many beautiful added embellishments. And I've included Cinderella and Ariel in the back as these figurines came out around, I think, January 2019. They're all part of the same series from the UNESCO line. Um, this particular line was supposed to, I think, make the princesses look more as they would look in real life, as opposed to more of how they look in the cartoon. And um, the description says they have a more sophisticated, empowered look and they're supposed to have like a satiny, silky finish to their dresses. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Now, I absolutely love this figurine. It's one of my favorites. I think she has a beautiful face and a beautiful dress. I love this dress from the movie. It's one of my favorite Disney princess dresses. And she's one of my favorite Disney princesses. I just love how she's so empowered and just independent. Her biggest dream is to own her own restaurant. So it's a nice change from the typical Disney princess dream of just wanting a prince. So I love this character. I was excited when he came out with her. She's got the headpiece she wears in the movie. And it's got an embellished green gemstone and the little prongs that stick up on top. And she's got cute little curly tendrils that go around her face and her forehead. She's got pink lips, rosy cheeks, brown eyes. And then let's kind of turn her. You see more of the curly tendrils around her ear. And she's got a beautiful necklace embellishment of green gemstones that match the one in her headpiece. And I love the realistic look. You can kind of see the outline of her collarbone. Just a nice human touch to it. And then it goes into this beautiful layered green and yellow dress. And the green part's a little bit rougher. It has a more ceramic-y rough feeling to it as opposed to the yellow parts. They're more of that satiny, silky finish that's mentioned in the description and it's very shiny. It's kind of like the Cinderella figurine. This part is very rough and ceramic and then this part soft, silky, shiny. So and you can see the stone carving on the green part of her dress, it's like a floral design. I just love all the layers to the dress and how it looks like it's blowing in the breeze or flowing behind her as she walks and I love the sassy little pose she has. Just some nice little details to the figurine. You can see how shiny the yellow parts are. Look at how the green just, it looks like everything's just flowing in the wind. I love that little touch. And it kind of comes together at the bottom behind her as she walks or struts. And then, let me turn it back here so you can see the bun. It's like a curly, thick bun. And then she's got little curly tendrils on the base of her neck. Beautiful. And then back to the beginning. And this, there's one other Princess Tiana in the UNESCO line. It's Tiana from the Masquerade series. She's holding up a mask of a frog. And it's basically a series of various Disney characters just holding up masks that pertain to their characters from the movie. So of course she would hold up a frog mask. And that one's pretty expensive and more on the rare side. This one just came out, so it's not rare. It's not hard to get. 
You can get her on the UNESCO website or online sites like eBay, Amazon. I've also seen online sites like Target, Walmart, and Hot Topic that carry these figurines. Or you can try to find them in store. There's stores in the mall that sell figurines or anywhere that sells Jim Shore figurines are sure to have the UNESCO ones. I got her online and she usually goes between $50 and $70. But this is my Princess Tiana from the UNESCO Couture de Force line.